In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Sony A1 uh, with version 2.0 or greater firmware on Arsenal. First, to start, let's disconnect Arsenal. Otherwise, some settings might be grayed out that we need to change. We're going to go into Menu, and we'll navigate down to this briefcase icon down here, toolbox icon. If we go down, we will see the USB section, and we'll go into connection mode. <clears throat> By default, this is set to select when connected. We're going to go ahead and move this down to remote shooting. And it gives us the option to change our remote shooting settings. We can either do that here, or if this option doesn't come up for you, you can navigate to it by going to the world icon, connection remote shooting, and then we'll go down here to the remote shooting section. We need to make sure that it's set to save to the destination plus camera. Arsenal is the destination in this case. And then we can choose whether we want the original or a smaller version of the image. If we're shooting RAW and JPEG, we can choose, uh, let's see, and we're on original here, we can choose whether we want to save uh, both to the Arsenal or just the JPEGs. And this is a setting that Arsenal may toggle as it, as it needs. Uh, this is whether we're saving them to the arsenal specifically, not to the camera. They're always going to be saved to the camera. And lastly, if we want, we can shrink the size that we send to, to arsenal. This can be helpful with things like time lapse if you need a really short interval. One last thing I'll mention. If you go out, you'll see this remote shoot func a function. Uh, this is actually for connections with a smartphone, so using the Sony app. So this actually should be off, uh, and certain things may be grayed out if it's not. So, um, But it's very confusing because remote shoot function and remote shoot settings actually refer to two different things. So, um, But that is all you should need. Now you should be able to connect to Arsenal using your Sony A1 on version 2.0 or greater firmware.